Alex Ryan, Chicho, what part of the Putin interview jumped out to you the most as a smoking gun for evidence of the globalist agenda? The whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing, right? So again, let's let's talk about this. We got all this hoopla on sensor tube asking, what did you think of the Putin interview? And Ryan is asking, Chicho, what part of the Putin interview jumped out to you the most as a smoking gun for evidence on the globalist agenda? uh as i mentioned the whole thing and and you have to you have to really appreciate this right putin 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 like first thing you have to appreciate is this if you lived in a country if you're a citizen of a citizen of a country by the way gang i'm not gonna stay up with the chat until i get some stuff out of the way regarding putin but if you're a citizen of a country would you have rather have putin as your leader or anyone in the western world or all of the leaders in the western world right putin made trudeau biden uh sh 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 shit nag uh, macron all of the leaders of the western world look like turds look like their iq was two compared to putin being 200 like it was ridiculous it was an, it it was an embarrassment to the western world which goes to show lonely piggy thank you very much for the twitch prime stuff 17 months in a row it, it, it was an he embarrassed the west annihilated the west people in the west should hang their heads in shame as to who we have ruling over us and putin showed that the western world is ruled by oligarchs globalist as ryan would say right one of the places that really stood out to people should stand out to people right is that the conversation the the way putin was talking was dumbed down version of the way he would talk to someone you know talk to someone at his own caliber right that already knew all the most low iq things you could have thought right now you have to keep in mind tucker carlson is from the united states and his audience main audience would be united states his main attackers are from the western world so tucker carlson was trying to in bring information to citizens of the west how low iq are many of the citizens in the western world they still don't realize that the united states blue north stream pipelines right they still have no idea that boris johnson flew to turkey to stop the peace process right like they, they don't know this most of the people in the western world have no idea that what started this conflict didn't start on february 24th 2022 it started with the maidan coup right in 2014 where a democratically elected government was overthrown and the puppet regime that was put into power by the united states like you have to appreciate that putin any anybody in the global south like china iran uh, saudi arabia turkey uh, most of latin american countries most african they know the history of what's going on in ukraine it's the western citizens that don't know this right really the, because we've been propagandized to up the yin yang and you have to be active in your uh in your education of what was going on and you have to be on top of it right like i was on top of it because in 2014 i wrote an article about what was going on in ukraine right and i followed the progression right and there was a lot that took place right so putin realized early on that he was talking to an american journalist and the information he had to portray was get across was information that citizens of the western world had no idea about right they're totally clueless many people still don't realize nazis is a thing in ukraine right that's why putin went into the story when tucker carlson went along and said well denazifying ukraine what does that mean to you like denazifying ukraine nazis you know 60 70 years ago nazis putin's like what are you effing talking about 
it's long gone. Nazis didn't disappear after World War II. They didn't just go, we're not Nazis anymore. Let's put on our, I don't know, green shirts and become greens. Some are, right? Putin's like, what are you talking about, Tucker? Right? What are you talking about, Tucker? It's like, it's like talking to a, a child to a certain degree, right? No, no, no offense to Tucker Carlson, right? He he knows his audience, who, who who's going to be a majority of people that are going to be watching him. So he's he's trying to ask questions that is going to keep his audience engaged, right? Like why? I'm pretty sure Tucker knew that the Nazi thing is a major issue in Ukraine, and Tucker already knew what took place in Canada, right? So. Tucker asks Putin what, you know, Nazism was a long time ago, World War II and stuff. And Putin had to explain to him, no, the main ideology of Ukraine is Bandera. The Bandera, Banderites and all the other clowns that they have, right? They're Nazis. They're, it's, like, it's like talking about Germany and saying, oh, there are people still worshipping Hitler. Right? It's equivalent. Equivalent. I dropped the H word. Wow. In this case, it's very relevant because it was the same people, right? Even the Ukrainian Nazis were harsher than the German Nazis, actually. The German Nazis put some of the Ukrainian Nazis in jail because they were so fucking. They're, they're, they were genocidal, brutal maniacs, right? So Putin had to point out that in Ukraine, the main ideology that they want their country or the Western Ukraine, the Nazis in Ukraine, the people that NATO, the United States put in power, are full-on Nazis because they worship the Nazis from World War II. How much so? To a level where the Canadian government, the full parliament, brought a Nazi, and Putin mentions it, brought a Nazi to Ottawa, to Canada, the capital of Canada, took him into the parliament, right? Called over Zelensky, right? To the parliament. So Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, all the opposition parties standing there, full government with Zelensky and his wife and a Nazi that fought against an SS, someone that was the SS battalion in Ukraine, right? Was in the, in the bleachers <laughs> section, right beside the top generals in Canada, right beside the top generals in Canada, and the Canadian government gave this Nazi two standing ovations, right? Nazis didn't go away when World War II ended, right? Putin was explaining that. No, they are fighting Nazis, and the West right now is on the side of Nazis and arming Nazis. Okay, that's just one part of the interview, right? Now, anybody who's followed this progression in Ukraine, we already knew this. We've talked about this from the get-go, from the first mapping video that we did. This is number 12 that we're doing. And we talked about this way, way before then to a level where 2014, I wrote about it, right? So Nazis have been in power for a long time in Ukraine, right? Thanks to NATO. So when uh, all this hoopla is asking what I thought about the Putin Tucker Carlson interview is, it's a bloody education, right? It's an education for, it wasn't necessarily an education for Tucker Carlson, even though it was, because Putin started off the history of part of it was amazing. Right, he, he, Putin went back. <laughs> Putin went back a, a hundred, a thousand years, right? Eight hundred years. Started off. This is Russia, right? Because well, if you if you guys recall, when the war started, when we started doing this stuff, when the war started, right? We had some people. They're trolls. Well, troll farms, right? Bot farms, right? Came were popping on many, many, many different streams, and there are certain agendas that they were pushing. Right? There were certain agendas that they were pushing. One of the agendas that they were pushing, if you guys remember this, people were popping out to our live stream. We were talking about geopolitics and stuff like this, saying Russia has no culture. Do you guys remember this? Elder God, you remember this. Russia doesn't even have a culture. 
That's what they kept on saying. Russia doesn't even have a culture. Putin started off with the interview, going back 800 effing years and giving the culture of Russia, right? Just dropped the bomb on it. Tucker Carlson was a little uncomfortable. He came out at the beginning of his, his video saying, oh, you know, it, you know, it might seem like uh, Putin's filibustering, and, but we questioned him, we, we interpreted him, and we were upset about him giving the history of Russia, and Putin became upset because we interrupted him, and he took on, da, 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 da. he gave a little beginning part, right? So Putin was given a serious education to the Western world citizens of the western world for for those that could that comprehended what was going on there's many people that won't right there's many people that won't right to a level where to a level where right if you look at the united states the western world what's one of the main things what's one of the main things that they're pushing right what's one of the main agendas of this of this woke woke cult that exists in the western world right we need diversity we need diversity we must accept people from all religions and all cultures so what they've done the western governments western oligarchs they've opened the floodgates and they're flooding the western western countries with unvetted no i while well, they do to a certain degree but no a true idea of how many people are coming into these countries? They're economically annihilating Western citizens, right? Inflation through the roof, housing crisis, food crisis, crime crisis, uh, violence up the yin yang, drug issues, families and being annihilated, everything on the on the whole agenda of we need diversity. We must accept all religions to a certain degree except for the the main religion that used to exist and does in the western world we must diversify all cultures because diversity is strength what did russia what did what did putin what was, was the main points that putin uh, conveyed in that interview you want a country that's diversified and strong with bare minimum violence that's working together right that's russia how 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 strong is it how strong is that diversity and their collaboration in all of russia it's so strong that the united states nato was arming chechens right fanatics they brought from saudi arabia right saudi arabia okay brought them to Chechnya and they created chaos in Russia and it reached a level where they took over uh, it was what was it a uh, it was a auditorium I'm not I can't remember if it was a play going on or music festival music uh, concert going on or there were lots of kids there where they murdered lots of innocent people right Russia waged, Central Russia went in there militarily. They had a brutal effing war, civil war, if you want to think about it. But Putin was able to, and the Russian leadership was able to talk to the true Chechnyans in that province and say, listen, this is NATO installed fanatical regimes, just the way they did Al Qaeda and ISIS. Their origin is Saudi Arabia. Do you really want your people to be in war and fighting the agenda of NATO? And they were able to have peace with the Chechen leadership to a level where the Chechen military right now is Russia's elite force that has been annihilating Nazis in Ukraine and unfortunately a lot of innocent Ukrainians not innocent in terms of civilians there's been a fair bit like that but a lot of 
Ukrainians that had no desire to be in this war, but the Nazis in Ukraine have been grabbing them off the street, throwing them, throw them into front lines through a meat grinder, right? So Putin even, even, even was able to address the the main agenda, the main concern that the woke indoctrination has in the Western world that they want diversity Putin even point out that the most diverse country in the world stable country in the world where crime rate is bare minimum where people are working together is Russia right is Russia basically the Putin Tucker Carlson interview Putin annihilated the Western world annihilated annihilated it right just killed it knocked it off the park <laughs> whatever you want to call it right annihilated it annihilated it right and tucker carlson you know the, i'm glad that the level of question interaction to a certain degree for tucker carlson was on the lower side intellectually than putin is because the audience in the western world is a lower level intellectually because they have no idea what the history of this whole thing is really we've been talking about it for a couple of years now and we still have people coming along saying oh there was no civil war what are you talking about right what are you talking about right so it was a good interview it was a really good interview it was probably the most important interview in western history uh for the last well as far as i can remember right that's why it's the most viewed interview in u.s history ever more than michael jackson or oprah right that's the level right michael jackson is peak interviewed by oprah right Tucker carlson with putin got more views than that two days ago right after five days of being online and i doubt it if it was broadcast in most united states corporate networks right so yeah it was a damn important interview and if anybody in the western world is paying attention citizens of the western because the oligarchs are just garbage the western world or oligarchs they have their agenda set we already know what their agenda is right but citizens of the western world those who don't have uh tds or putin bad syndrome or russophobia have have, have, have a just the slightest bit of intellectual uh, inquisitiveness, even if they hate Russia and they hate Putin, to say, hey, let's listen to this interview and see what this is all about, right? And there's going to be a lot of people in the West that I know people, that there's no way they would have watched this, right? Or even had the opportunity to watch it, right? But those that did, if they watched it and if they really listened right they would have had an aha moment they would have gone whoa what is going on that's my take on the Tucker Carlson uh, Putin interview and there's a lot that I didn't cover there's a lot that I didn't cover 